My name is Zainab Alkali. I'm a professor of uh, literature. I lecture literature and creative writing. My first book, The Stillborn, was published in 1984. And it has to do with uh, female education. Well, I have to confess that uh, initially I did not face uh, many challenges because it was the first book. And it was only when the first book was out and it got around that, um, of course, some people started to label me as a feminist. And you know, in the northern context, when they said you are a feminist, there are a lot of strings attached to that label. It sort of uh, restricts you from exploring other issues in the society. People will expect you to write only about feminist issues. So the labeling of me as a feminist writer was quite a challenge. Well, my second book, The Virtuous Woman, was an attempt to counter that opinion. But I realized that it was a mistake because uh, if you are writing and you are conscious of the fact that the audience out there are expecting you to fit into a certain label, that then it becomes a restriction on you as a writer. So the virtuous woman, as many readers would tell me later, was not as good as the stillborn, because the stillborn was spontaneous. It came right from my heart. The virtuous woman was an attempt, probably, to let the world know that I am not the feminist writer. And as such, it didn't work out as well. After that, I decided that I was going to be myself and write from my own perspective and write what I feel I should write, regardless of what others think. Because this is the only way uh, an author can be honest to himself or to herself. And uh, looking back, it was because of the conflicting criticisms I was receiving. Here I was, I wrote The Stillborn and it was an instant success. People were praising me for having written the book, especially from the southern part of the country. But back at home in the north, people felt that um, I had attacked patriarchy a little too strong. And I suppose I felt apologetic and now the virtuous woman was an attempt to balance things up, but that didn't work either. So I wrote the cobwebs. That implies that I'm beginning to get cobwebs um, about my views. So the cobwebs is a collection of short stories in which some of the stories were quite uh, open, frank. A little bit radical, maybe, but it, it set me free because I felt as a writer, if you want to be a good writer, you just have to be yourself and write what you deeply feel you should write. Not, not write something you expect your audience to like because not everybody will like what you have written. Some will appreciate, some will not appreciate. You have to stop thinking about the impression you are giving and think about the issue you want to address. So that was the moment when I did not write for about 10 years because I was uh, a little bit confused about the issues I was addressing. After that, I picked up and wrote uh, three other books. I've enjoyed every bit of my stay here, and I wished I had come on Tuesday, but other commitments prevented me from coming. I have learned a lot from young writers, from older writers, and uh, 
I've had the opportunity to meet very famous people like Layla here, and I'm really very happy I came. Uh, I think we should do more of such outings for writers. It should be more open. We should invite more people internationally. It is good. It's a good experience. My advice to young writers coming up is that they should not feel discouraged. Writing is something that comes down from inside of you. I've always said that writing actually comes from beyond intelligence. It's a gift. Writing is divine as far as I'm concerned. So if they are gifted to write, they should not bury the gift because they are afraid. They should write. And uh, no matter what happens, they should not stop. They should be hardworking. Let them be honest to themselves. Let them write. And um, hopefully, their writing will come to limelight. <laughs>